Laos needs to increase cooperation with development partners to help eliminate violence against women and girls, with a focus on economic development. Director of Association for Development of Women and Legal Education, Intana Bupasawan, said that violence against women is still a major concern in Laos and one of the major challenges in preventing and ending violence against women in Laos is a substantial funding shortfall. Um, my name is Intana Bupasawan. I'm a director of Association for Development of Women and Legal Education. Speaking to our Lao National Television English Language News Team, Director of Association for Development of Women and Legal Education, or ADWLE, Madame Intana Bupasawan said that a strong partnership among the government, development partners, and the private sector is required to ensure adequate and sustainable resources to end violence against women and girls. From that, uh, we also did uh, research uh, about the women's status and found that uh, women need, uh, uh, need a legal education uh, clinic. So, According to her, studies show that men who are employed full-time and maintain breadwinner status in the family are less likely to commit violent crimes against women. The uh, association uh, was, uh, established the uh, legal aid clinic for vulnerable women at Ba Nong Song Hong, uh, Saitani District. And uh, many women who, who are victims of violence came and used our service uh, a lot. The employment status of women is another indicator as to whether they are likely to fall victim to violence by their partners. One of the major challenges in preventing and ending violence against women in Laos is a substantial funding shortfall. According to her, violence against women and girls include domestic and sexual violence, human trafficking and the enforcement of traditional practices, such as forced child marriage. Such actions constitute a human rights violation and are a serious obstacle to sustainable development. Violence also imposes large-scale costs on families and communities. I would like to call to uh, all men in, uh, in Laos uh, to respect and the dignity of the uh, women. Uh, give opportunity to the women for development and uh, stop violence against women. Despite the government's efforts in addressing the issue, there is still a gap in translating the law and a plan into action. In Tanabu Pasawan said addressing violence against women and girls is critical to the country's development. <laughs> Uh, yes, it's uh, it's happened globally, uh, as we know from the evidence itself that you know uh, globally one in uh, three women experience you know uh, either physical or sexual violence by their partners or husband, uh, and uh, you know the. I, I, I would say that the most cost-effective, you know, intervention would be, you know, from prevention itself uh, by, you know, first of all, probably, you know, uh, educated, uh, you know, young people from the early age, like, you know, uh, working, with man, uh, working with boys and girls, you know, to change their attitude and, uh, of course, the perceptions and also the uh, respecting the, uh, you know, the relationship between uh, men and uh, Men and women, and then according to the UNFPA, the Sustainable Development Goal Framework provides great opportunities to work together on the issue of preventing and ending violence against women and girls. These include specific targets to end violence against women and other harmful practices, such as early marriage. However, the initiatives must be adequately funded in order to bring real and significant changes to the lives of women and girls. Women, from you know, ex and including girls, for them to uh, to to have opportunity to education and uh, employment, uh, so that they can you know build also their life skills and uh, negotiation skill that will be helping them to deal with the issues of violence. Violence against women and girls remains one of the most widespread and tolerated violations of human rights. Globally, one in three women has experienced physical or sexual violence, most often by an intimate partner. It is recorded that Laos is no exception. Violence against women is socially embedded and hidden away. Its effects remain with women and children for a lifetime and can pass from one generation to another.
it's uh, violence against women. It's uh, it's a uh, it's a work of uh, you know. It's it's not the issue that affecting only women, but it's affecting the whole family, their children, and also the society, and also uh, our uh, so uh, our development, our country development as well. So it's a role of everyone to you know play uh, a part in there to end uh, violence. And as mentioned, it's preventable, and uh, you know we can work together to ensure that it's uh, it's not happened to women. Yeah.